Attack on Mika! I'm Kazuto. I started dating Yuki, who was a friend since elementary school, just before the summer vacation of my third year at junior high started, and half a year had already gone by. I had a lot of fun today. Me too. It'll soon be the winter break, so we should do something for Christmas. Uh-huh. After we started going out, we went on several dates. I always enjoy the time I spend with Yuki. She seems to be having a good time as well, and always smiles. It was the last day before the winter vacation started. Kazuto, are you still going out with Yuki? Mieko and Zumire. I think they were friends with Yuki. Well, yeah. On my days, I can't believe you actually dated her for half a year without knowing anything. <laughs> what are you talking about? Haven't you heard from Yuki that she was dating you as a dare? Yuki is dating a guy that she doesn't even like. I feel sorry for her. What? A dare? That can't be. We even made plans for Christmas. Do you really think that Yuki would love an introvert like you? That's so true. <laughs> if you think we're lying, why don't you check yourself? Your phone is ringing. Maybe it's Yuki. It's really from Yuki. But I believe Yuki. They're probably just making things up. Yuki? Everything alright? Kazuto, I thought I couldn't say this directly, so I called. I can't see you anymore. What? I'll give you trouble at this rate, so... What do you mean by trouble? I want to be with you! I don't care about any trouble, so... No. If we stay together, we will both end up unhappy. So I want to break up. What? Your rejection. Did you actually get dumped? <laughs> Just like I said. So true. <laughs> we had such a good time. Was it all a lie? Why did she smile like that all the time she was with me? There must be something else. But I couldn't get in contact with Yuki anymore. The winter vacation started, and I was feeling irritated. And soon the third semester started. Since we were days from graduating, we didn't need to go to school anymore. Because Yuki was planning to go to a private school quite far away, I didn't get the chance to talk to her. And everything just slipped away. A month had passed, and I was going to a high school close by. The welcoming ceremony is over, so I think I'll go home. Maybe Yuki is also... What's the point? I deleted her contact info so that I could forget about her. I should get over it. Hey, Kazuto. We got into the same high school. I didn't know you guys chose here, too. How were things with Yuki? We broke up. I couldn't contact her anyways. Did you actually break up? Did you take the story about the dare seriously? It was obviously a joke, couldn't you tell? A joke? It's because that bitch made a boyfriend before us, her friends. It's karma. I know, right? She was such a bitch prioritizing her boyfriend than us, her friends. Wait, did you trick us? Don't you think that's a little rude? Isn't it your fault that you couldn't believe in your girlfriend? Well... Don't blame things that you're responsible for on others. So true. You should rethink that you did before blaming it on others. They have a point. If I talked properly with Yuki, things might have turned out differently. I could have talked if I still had her number. After being told the truth by them, I felt a resistance towards dating people. As a result, I didn't get a girlfriend throughout high school and university. And one year had passed after graduating university. Huh? A phone call? Hello? Is this Kazuto? There's a reunion for our junior high next weekend, but you're coming, okay? Oh, Taichi! Why do you assume I'm going? I'm not. Oh, so the Mr. Elite working at the famous company is too busy to come then. Well, not exactly, but... Then come! Yuki might come as well, you know. What does Yuki have to do with anything? Don't try to hide it. I've known you since we were kids. I know you've been thinking about her. I'll hang up now. Wait, wait! You'll regret it if you don't come to the reunion! That's a little over the top. If you don't come, I'll go to your house every night and ring the doorbell until midnight. Why do you have to do that? 
Okay, okay, I'll go. I'll go. All right? Nice. I'll message you the venue at the time later. Well, that was forceful. Even if I do see her, what can I say to her? Well, can't afford having my sleep being endangered. Although I didn't feel like going, I got ready to go to the reunion. And it was the day of the reunion. Yuki isn't here. Guess she doesn't want to see me. Hey, Kazuto, what's the matter? Are you looking for Yuki? No, let's just sit down somewhere. I did show up, but I don't have anyone to talk to. Taiichi seems like he had lots of people to talk to because he had lots of friends from junior high. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Whoa! Not at all. Who is she? I can't remember anyone like her. Um, you are... Oh, it's Kazuto! Miko and Sumire! That's right, we haven't seen each other since high school, have we? Seems like it. <laughs> Why are they talking to me? I thought they didn't like me. Why is the girl sitting next to me getting moody? You've become so manly, Kazuto. Hey, why don't we get married? Huh? You work at a famous company, right? Then I think you are the perfect match for me. You probably don't have a girlfriend, right? So I'm saying that I'll marry you. What the hell is she saying? Well, I think it would be better for you to marry me. Huh? Don't be so selfish. I am more. Calm down, you two. Oh, Tai Chi. Are you going to marry me? Well, you are good looking, so I don't mind getting married with you. No, I'm not. Besides, I'm already married. Really? How sad. I mean, I think you two are the only ones that aren't married. What? Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, I got married last year. I'm getting married next month. I'll get married next year. I have plans to get married as well. Well, I bet these two aren't married. Hey, you, the ordinary looking girl. I bet you haven't gotten married. Who are you anyways? I can't remember who she is. I didn't even realize she was there. There's no way she can get married. I'm Yuki. You made me and Kazuto break up. Yuki? It was Yuki. She felt like a completely different person from when we were in junior high. But, but you weren't married, right? I'm getting married. I'm getting married with Kazuto next year. What? We're getting married? Just go with it for now. Why is Taiichi... Well, I guess it's better to go with it for now. Yeah, I'm getting married with Yuki next year. Th that's a lie. I thought you two broke up and Yuki went to a school far away. That's right. You threatened me that you would tell rumors that Kazuto is forcing me to go out with him. What the hell? They said such things? We did not. I think you were just confused. No. It was your fault that we broke up. But our feelings never changed. Even though you tore us apart, we still loved each other. So we won't break up anymore, even if you did anything to us. So many lies. What are you even talking about? You shouldn't believe what this liar tells you, Kazuto. So true. You should ditch this bitch and marry me. That way, you'll be so much happier. What the hell are you on about? Who would marry you lot? Huh? Don't even try to hurt Yuki. Did you even think for a second that you could marry me by hurting the person I love? I chose Yuki. No one else stands a chance. Kazuto? I will make Yuki happier than what you two took from us. You two can just watch us become happy while you rot. Forever single. <laughs> Guess you just came here to look for guys who are rich. Well, too bad. All the guys here have been taken, so you might as well leave. That way, you won't have to make fools of yourselves. Yeah, no one here wants to date you. You guys have been mean since junior high, and you guys haven't changed at all. You are grown up, so why don't you act like one? Damn you lot! Fine! I don't care about any of you anyways! I know, right? Let's go! Yes, they're gone! Good job, guys! That was great! <laughs> Let's drink, guys! Yeah! yeah! Um, what was this all about? You did great, too. In a nutshell, it was a prank. A prank? Those two were mean to a lot of people here, so we decided to play a little prank on them. Oh, that's what it was. 
What the hell? <laughs> Were you surprised? Well, I mean, who wouldn't be? But that was more than I expected. I didn't think that you cared so much for Yuki. Well, that was... I know, it was for the prank, right? You didn't mean it, we were just former classmates. Maybe. Wait. I will regret it forever if I back off here. No! Huh? I meant every single word I said earlier. You are the one, Yuki! Even though we broke up back then, I still love you after all this time. My feelings haven't changed at all. I want to start everything again with you if you're okay with it. Sorry. I was too late then, huh? It's not that. I couldn't forget you either. Even though the time we spent together wasn't so long, each of the memories were still there. But I hurt you, Kazuto. I broke up with you without explaining anything. I don't deserve to be happy with you. You're wrong. We were both the victims. And even then, I couldn't forget about you. So I want to be together with you. And let's be happy together. Are you sure you're okay with me? What if the same kind of thing happens? If that happens, I will be there to protect you. I won't let anything get in our way. Would you go out with me one more time? Yes, I love you. I love you so much, Kazuto. I want to start everything over again with you. Um, I don't mind you two getting back together, but aren't you forgetting that we are also here? Oh! oh. With the blessings of our classmates, we started dating once again. And one year later, we actually got married. Although we were torn apart once, we are now happily together because we believed in each other. I want to make up for all those years that we missed out on together and make her happy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.